it's time to get our second dish up and running. Come on, Rec, keep up that rage, all right? Hey, Matt, is there any room on that grill or what? Today, it looks like it's going to be Battle of the Beef. There you going, big dog, all right? Yeah, good man. Working over each other? Yeah, mate. Only way to do it? Yeah, brother. The grill's scorching hot. It's ready to go. The steaks are all ready. I don't want them too thick today because they're going to have to be cooked quite quickly. So about an inch thickness is perfect for the plate. Get them on the grill. Everything else on this dish today, Heather and Alina have sorted it all out. Is that your ponzu? Ponzu that will go on at the end. Yeah. These will get fried up and be on the side as well. That's nice. Okay, so that's all ready to go. I'm just making this pickling liquid a bit stronger. I really need to complete the rest of these elements. I need to combine the dashi and the, the ponzu sauces. Quickly, eh, Heather? I need to fry off the mushrooms and get the mushrooms ready and seasoned and get ready for plate up. Do you guys want to have some input on how this is plated? Yeah. And I need to start plating up this dish. I'll grab the first piece of beef. I want to make sure that we've been generous. And just sprinkle, yeah, sprinkle them on top. Yeah. Perfect. All right, so what do you got? Um, so there's the sesame and peanut dressing on the base. Yeah. A little um, chilli caramel, seared beef, some um, roasted peanuts and pickled daikon. Can, hang on, hang on. I'm reclining back. Hang on. We told you, you've got to be able to eat this in a beanbag. You're about giving a customer service yep. and an experience. Yep. How are they going to get a big wad of meat yep. like that into their gob? What? They're not seals. So we need to fix it. I think how it's, it's supposed to be eaten. OK. Yes, George. I think the main thing we want to do is just get all this, this beef seared off. And then, uh, and then we've got to start cutting it up. What we're going to do is cut them up a little bit smaller. All right, put that dressing aside, grab some of this beef. Start cutting it nice and thin, all right? Trent, he starts slicing it up and portioning. Beautiful. Quick, 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 quick. The steak's looking really good. It's um, cooked really well, nice and rare in the middle, nice and charred on the outside, so happy. I've strained my sesame sauce off. I make sure that it's all right with Matt. I like it. Then I'm going to move on to the soy caramel. I think having two sort of saucy things on a plate is a really awesome idea. They both balance each other out. Having that sesame really brings down the sweetness of the soy caramel. All right, let's go up. Let's get ourselves set up. It's been nearly 20 minutes since the first dish left the kitchen. Let's start. And the punters are waiting. I think we need to motor a little bit now. Right, steak's done. Harry, you're going to clean down the front, get ready for service. Got to slice this beef, got to get the ponzo in there. So this is everything? This is all the meat? That's all the meat. There's a spare one there if we need it. So today we're going to be cooking 90 serves of beef. We want to be able to give them as much as we can. And I'm not sure if we've got enough. There's a lot of hungry mouths to feed. No. Did you count this? No, I don't. How many have we got? Okay. Do you want to count them now? Yeah. You might need to weigh the portion. Oh, uh, we don't have time. We don't have time for that. <sighs> I am concerned. We can't afford to run out of anything. Every plate should have the sesame dressing, the beef tataki, the chilli caramel, roasted peanuts, daikon, coriander. It's got to be all hands on deck now. We need to make sure that we've got absolutely every element covered. Mimi's putting down the, the peanut sesame dressing, Trent's going over the top with the beef, I've got the pickles, Elise is dressing with the caramel and then garnish with the coriander. We're working really well together, really efficient. Lots of good Japanese flavours, lots of real good fresh produce. It's going to be a good dish. Service, yep, here we go. This is the Red Team's dish, and it's a beef tataki with a soy caramel, a little sesame and peanut dressing, and pickled yep. daikon. Yeah, it looks good. Matt and Mimi uh, were the big players in this one. I think Elise helped. I mean, she did the pickled daikon. Something underneath it, is there, Matt? Um, that, the sesame sauce okay. is underneath there. I don't mind that idea. Obviously, they've taken the inspiration, that Korean barbecue, that, yeah. that sesame sauce, the sort of stuff you dunk your meat in when you're sitting by a charcoal grill. I, I like the idea of the chopsticks. I think, you know, you can hold it there, you can sit there and, you know, yeah. pick up pieces of beef and eat. Yeah, and also it reinforces the idea and the style of the dish, doesn't it? That's right. I must admit, I do like that soy um, caramel. Yeah, it's really tasty. All right, come on, girls, keep pushing, keep pushing. Service? Yep. One, two, three, four. All right, two to go, two to go. Anything more needs to go out. Well, we need to serve 90 portions. So that's 60 where it's done, yeah? This is 60 here, this is 70. Harry. 70 now. The beef is just flying out the door now, and Harry's not sort of measuring it out or anything like that. This lot here, so what yeah. is that, 18, 19, yeah. 20, 21? I'm starting to worry. 
really have no idea of how many dishes have gone out this stage, so if we're going to run out of something, we, you know, we, we don't know because we've got no idea how many have got to go. 16 times 5. Hey, we need to figure this out a bit better, I think. We're winging it at this stage, you know. We just hope we've got enough ingredients left to see us through to the end. We got more beef than this? Well, here's the blue team's ponzu beef salad. Did we specify it was a Japanese theme today? <laughs> or what? Because this looks like a dish we've already eaten. It does look pretty, though. I love these little fresh uh, pickles, cucumber and daikon. And then there's fried mushrooms underneath. So I think that's it's clever. Very clever. It's good. You definitely pick up that citrusy ponzu flavour on, on the meat, which is great. It's a subtle dish. It does have lots of freshness, which is lovely against the beef. Yeah, and I love the fried mushrooms. I think they're beautiful. And I pick up that ponzu all the way through, you know, whether I'm eating the pickles or the beef or the mushrooms, which is a nice kind of little undertone, which is lovely. I think it's a clever and a pretty dish. And I think it, it's certainly... You'd never find this in a cinema, would you? No. So, I mean, for this kind of setting, I think it's, it's really good. Well, this is it for beef, I believe. Are you kidding? So we run out of the beef. We don't have enough. I really should have kept a, a better eye on this, you know. I, to, as the captain, I really should be out with the pass and to keep an eye on the count. We just need, like, ten more plates. If the punters out there don't get fed, the blue team will go into elimination tomorrow. More plates. We're going to put this grill back on straight away and go through it again. So I'm cooking off some more beef. Real quick. Gotta get it out there as quickly as we can. So I'm really hoping this is it. Quick, has get them out, mate. Yeah, no, we've got enough now. Tasting's another story. It tastes amazing. I love it. So hopefully they like it. I'm eating the blue team's dish, which is very tender and very nice. It tastes just amazing. The flavours are really good. Really enjoyed. No, it's delicious. Very flavoursome, cooked perfectly.